Today on the Boot Guy, we are looking at Velocity by Timberland Pro. Now Timberland Pro is no stranger to this whole new generation of lightweight safety shoes. They've been doing it a really long time. They've been perfecting it for a really long time. Now there's a few things about this thing that I really don't like and I'm gonna save those to the end but let's get through the high points on this. First off, super sticky sole. All those little suction cups, the concave shape of this sole is like glue when you move from concrete, whether it's wet or dry, and you move into a smooth floor like finished wood, tile, marble, something like that, you're gonna get really good traction. Since they're building this shoe as a delivery guy shoe or as a service person shoe, this is a really good thing to have a sole like this. And it's really nice and it's really sticky. Now when you move to the front of the shoe, what you find is Timberland added a chunk of Everguard to the front. Now this is nice because delivery person, service guy, you're going to be kicking things, whether it's doors, doors on your truck, doors to get in and out of places, your material onto your hand truck. This is nice. This is going to protect the shoe from prematurely wearing out. And I'm glad to see that Timberland is using this material here. Now that sole and that upper, they are glued together. This is a completely cement constructed shoe. There is really no stitching whatsoever outside of putting the lining to the upper. So what that means is eventually at some point, this thing is going to start to fall apart and tear apart. But until that happens, it's gonna be really comfortable and really flexible. Now this is anti-fatigue, just like you find in all the boondocks and all their others, you find the anti-fatigue insole. Instead of putting it inside, Timberland Pro put it on the outside of these. Now when you open this thing up, what you find is that the tongue is gusseted. So what that means is all that heat and sweat in the summertime can kind of just flash off. Any breeze that comes by is gonna move right through this shoe. But at the same time, what that means is that any water you come in contact with is going right through. They are not waterproof, they are not water resistant. They are basically just pass-throughs. They are like mesh shoes that are kind of like a sandal. Now I did mention that they are extremely lightweight and extremely flexible. They are very soft, pliable, flexible, and they should be. They're for delivery and service guys. These are for guys that are running around from the moment they start their day to the moment they stop their day. They are running the whole day. This is who they're thinking about when they make shoes like this. They're not thinking about the guys who gotta kick shovels. They're not thinking about the guys that gotta do other types of construction. These are not construction shoes. These are service shoes. There's a big difference there between the type of person that's wearing it and the type of person it's intended for. Now the lacing system are holes that are punched through this printed material. This mesh that has been printed in order to create the shape and the continuity to the whole shoe has these holes that are punched through there and that's where your laces pass through. It's all right. It makes it a little difficult as your laces will start to wear out to lace these things and tie them up. It's a step forward in understanding what you can actually do when you're constructing footwear like this. Now the top of the boot, the collar, it comes down real nice. It doesn't cut into the back of the Achilles. It's more like a low cut gym shoe when you start to look at it from that perspective. When you think about how low it is in the back and that this upper part that comes over is just protecting your ankle bone because it's all padded right in here, very thick padding. So if you're bumping your ankle bone on the side of things, it's not gonna transfer through. Really nice touch by doing this whole shape that's going on here. All right, so let's get to a few of the things that I don't like about it, huh? I don't like the insole. I, I really hate this insole that Timberland Pro uses inside their shoes. And the fact that they added it to this thing that's so comfortable, really don't like it. They could have done a lot better on this. Now, of course, you don't need to have the big boondock insole inside there, the big anti-fatigue insole, because it's built into the sole. But maybe a little something with a little cushion added to it, maybe with a little bit of some urethane in order for it to stay in place. And the reason I say that is there's a hard footboard and I always talk about how much I like hard footboards. Unfortunately, this hard footboard is eventually going to crack. 
just from flexing, just from climbing in and out, doing whatever you do all day long, bending down, crouching down, whatever you're doing, this thing, it will crack eventually. The material is a masonite type material. Let's say masonite, let's say MDF, let's say cardboard that's been impregnated with lots of hardening chemicals. That's what's going on down in there. Not my favorite part of the shoe. Definitely not my favorite part of the shoe. Now the second part of this that I really don't like is the suction cups on the bottom. As much as I love the fact that this thing is great when it comes to wet surfaces and the traction you get, those little suction cups are going to pick up every little piece of gravel, glass, whatever is the shape and size of that, even if it's bigger, and especially if it's bigger, it's just gonna force its way in there and it's gonna get stuck. So going in and out of people's homes with this as a service guy, you're gonna have to be really careful to make sure that you don't have anything stuck in there because the last thing you wanna do is walk across somebody's beautiful hardwood floor have a piece of glass or a rock in here and scratch the crap out of it. Now about size and fit on this thing, well, it's soft, it's comfortable, it's flexible, it fits great, apples for apples. Anything you've had in Timberland Pro before, you can move right into this. Their sizing scale, their sizing measurements for doing a last on a shoe are pretty much right on across the brand. So you don't have to worry about this being a little big or a little small if you had something else from them before. Now. What are some of the high points about this is the weight. They're extremely lightweight. If you're somebody who doesn't want to have a heavy shoe on their foot, but you need to have a safety shoe, this is something you need to be looking at. After the first five minutes, you're just going to forget about it and you're going to be able to do your job because it's so lightweight and comfortable. Now, with that being said, as it starts to deteriorate, as it starts to break down and these materials will break down, eventually you're going to impact this midsole. Eventually you're going to start to wear through this. Eventually you're going to crack that inside hard footboard. So as it starts to wear away, as it starts to break down, you got to be conscious of that because you can't be looking for this thing to last you more than nine months. You're going to have to replace it. So that's the Velocity by Timberland Pro. Hey, if you're currently wearing the Velocity or anything of the lightweight Timberland Pro shoe boots like this, please comment below. If you own a pair with this sole, please comment below and let guys know what you think about this sole. Hey, if you wanna see some detailed photos of the Velocity or if you wanna know more about the material they're using on the outside, remember to swing by bootguy.com. I'll have all that information there in a blog posting titled Timberland Pro Velocity. Please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. Remember, if you're on Instagram or Twitter, you can find me there all day long. I find interesting boots like this, interesting shoes. I take some photos and I start a conversation with you about them. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these Velocities and you just want to know whether or not it's going to be the right shoe for your line of work, feel free to shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.